Hello guys and welcome back for another tutorial. The materials that I'll be using for this tutorial are a medium worsted weight yarn and this week I'm back to using my 5mm crochet hook. So let's get into it. Of course I'm going to start off with my slip knot. To begin making the bra cups I'm going to start by chaining 10 plus 1 for turning. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's my 10th stitch. I'm gonna chain one more for turning. To make the first row of the cups, I'm gonna skip my first stitch from the hook and place one single crochet into each stitch in my chain. So I'll skip that first stitch and go right into my second. And place one single crochet. here at my third, insert, pull up a loop with two on, pull through two. And now I'm just going to place one single crochet into each stitch until I have one stitch remaining in my chain. So since my chain has 10 single crochets, I'm going to work nine single crochets and stop at my 10th. And here at my 10th stitch, I'm actually going to place five single crochet all into that same loop. So I'm going to insert, pull up, there's one single crochet, going right back into that same loop. There's my second, right back into that same loop again. For my third, right back in for the fourth, and one more time for my fifth stitch. So just to recap what I have so far, I've placed nine single crochet up my chain and five single crochet into that tenth stitch. And now I'm going to work down the other side of my chain. So after my corner stitch right here, I'm going to go into my very next loop and place a single crochet and just continue to pick up stitches on the other side of that chain placing nine more single crochet back down. And I'm going to bring you in nice and close so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But my next stitch is right here. I'm going to pick that up. And right here for my very last. So just like I've placed nine single crochet up one side of the chain, I'm going to place nine single crochet back down the other side. And just to show you where those stitches are, here at the corner is my cluster of five single crochet all into that same gap. Here's my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth stitch right here. So that's how we know that we've done all the stitches correctly. At the end of my first row, I can chain one and turn my work. To make the second row of the cup, the pattern is a little bit different, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. To make row two, I'll place one single crochet into each stitch down my chain until I reach my third stitch in my cluster of five at the corner. Here's my second, bring you in nice and close. Here's my third stitch. And just for some clarification, I'm going through both of the top loops. There's three. So when I get to my corner, I'll show you guys how to do that. I've reached my cluster of five here at my corner. So I'm gonna work the first two stitches normally. There's one single crochet. Coming in for this next stitch. I'm only gonna place one single crochet. And here at my third stitch, I'll be placing three single crochet all into that same stitch. So insert and work one single crochet right back into that same stitch. There's two and one more time for a third. So now I have three single crochet all placed into the same corner. 
And now for the rest of the row, I'll continue to place one single crochet until I hit the end. So here I'll pick up my next stitches. And nothing fancy, I'm just gonna place those one single crochets into the top of each stitch. So from here on out in the pattern, I'll only be building on that one corner. At the end of my second row, I can chain one and turn my work. For rows three and up, I'll be repeating the same steps that I used in row two. I'll place one single crochet into each stitch until I reach my corner, and at my corner, I'll place three single crochet into my second loop and finish the row with one single crochet. And I'll just walk you guys through row three a little bit faster. So I've already chained my one. I'll begin by placing my one single crochets. Just working down my chain until I can hit that corner. So I'm coming up here on my cluster of three at the corner. And these next three stitches right here are my increase. At the first stitch, I'm gonna work one single crochet. And here at the second stitch, that is my middle corner. I'm gonna pick it up and place three single crochet into that middle stitch. So there's my first. I'm gonna go back in for my second. And back in one more time for a third. So for row three and up, your increase should always be at your second stitch in your cluster. And now I'll just work one single crochet back down the other side of my row. At the end of my third row, I can chain one and turn my work again. And just to be safe, I'll recap row four for you at a faster pace. For the fourth row, I've already chained my one. And now I'll place my one single crochets down my row. working until I hit my cluster of three at the corner. And here I'm back again at my increase of three. At my first stitch, I'll place one. And here at my second stitch in that cluster, I'll place three single crochet. There's one, right back in for two, and back again into that same loop for three. And now for the rest of the row, I can add one single crochet into each stitch. So I'll continue to add on rows to this cup until I can get it to fit me. And then I'll come right back and show you what I have. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see, I finished up my first cup and I went ahead and made the second as well. But if I bring you in close here, and in order to make these cups fit my body, I added a total of 12 rows. For a cup reference, I'm about a 32C, and this took me about 12 rows of the single crochet to complete. And for some quick sizing references, the bottom of my cup reaches to about six and a half inches long. And likewise, the height of my cup is also six and a half inches. After finishing up both of my cups, I can move on to my body piece. For my body section, I'm gonna start off with another slip knot. And next I'll create an even numbered chain that stretches around three quarters of my waist. I want this top to have an open lace up back, so I'm not gonna crochet around the entire circumference of my waist. I've chained about a total of 80 stitches and that reaches to roughly 21 inches long. So again, I don't want this to enclose my entire back. I just want this band to cover the majority of my torso. So after my 80, I'm gonna chain two more for turning. And starting at the third stitch from the hook, I'll place one double crochet into each stitch in the chain. So I'll yarn over, skip my first two stitches and insert into my third. And there's my first double crochet. Looking here at my second. 
And hopefully if you guys are subscribers to my channel, you already know how to work this very simple double crochet. And because this stitch is very common and basic, I'm just kind of speeding through it. And I'll meet you back at the end of the row. At the end of my first row, I can chain two and turn my work. For my second row, I'm gonna change up the pattern a little bit to add some texture. After my initial chain two, I'll place one double crochet into that first stitch. And I'll still be working with double crochets, but I wanna create an X pattern and change the placement of my stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over for a double crochet, skip the next stitch, and place a double crochet in the second stitch. So I've skipped the next available stitch and place a double into the second. From here, I'm gonna yarn over and go back to placing one double crochet in that first stitch. So I'm just bringing my needle back across my work. And finish out that regular double crochet. So you can't see it too much here, but once you work a few more stitches, you'll be able to see that X pattern. Again, from here, I'm gonna yarn over, skip that first stitch and work a double into my second. Next, I'm gonna yarn over and go back to placing one double crochet in that first stitch that we skipped. You can kind of see that pattern coming through a little more. Let's work a few more a little bit faster. So this stitch I already worked into. I'm gonna skip my first stitch and place a double in the second. Now place a double crochet back in that first stitch. And just continue this pattern of X stitches until you have one stitch remaining in your row. And back at the end of my second row, I finished off with my last X and you should have one stitch left. So I'm gonna place one regular double crochet in that very last stitch. And now the row is completed and I can chain two and turn my work. For my third row, I'm gonna alternate back to using regular double crochets across the entire row. So no X stitches on this third row. I'm gonna work like normal and just place one double crochet into the top of each stitch. And I'm just gonna work down the row. And that's the basis for my torso section. To start my fourth row, I'm gonna alternate back to using this X stitch pattern. So the rows are just gonna alternate between a regular double crochet row and an X stitch row. All right, I am back and as you can see, I have finished up my torso band. And because I'm starting to run out of yarn, I was only able to crochet about six rows. So I'm almost done with the top. Now I just need to stitch on my cups to the torso band. I'm gonna start by folding my band in half to help determine the middle point of my top. And from here, I'm just gonna place my two cups right at that center. And now using a darning needle, I can stitch together the cups to the torso band. And with everything stitched together, I can now move on to the straps of the top. I'm gonna to start here at the very top of my cups by attaching my yarn and creating a very long chain. And make sure that you're creating a chain that's long enough to go up and over your shoulders and crisscross down your back. And the very last step of this top is to lace up the back. And I'm always getting a ton of comments asking how I laced up my previous crop top and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I'm gonna grab my chain and leave enough space for my shoulder here at the top. And using my hook, I'm gonna go into the opposite corner of the top, poke through and grab my chain. I'm gonna pull it through. Now I'm gonna to switch to my other panel and repeat the same process. I'm gonna to go to the middle of my band and poke through, grab my chain and pull it through the loop. Here at the corner, I'm gonna poke through with my hook, grab my chain and weave it through. 
And now I'm just gonna mimic that same process with my other tie strap. So I'm gonna grab the opposite corner and leave enough for my shoulder, bring it down to my opposite corner, grab my chain and weave it through. Now I'm gonna switch back to my other panel and find that matching spot on the other side. Poke through, grab my chain. And lastly, I'm gonna switch back to my other corner, grab the chain and pull. And now I have my back all laced up. So all that's left is to create a little tie and your top is done. Little. <laughs>